Okay, we're leaving now. So knackering. Cleaning the place up. Uh, okay, this this looks quite clean now. Corridor here. So the room where the kids slept just still have to has to be done. It's horrible moving all the time. I don't like it, it's too stressful. Here you have the toilet. You've only got one light here because this is, this has been taken off. You switch it on and you've got these uh, uh, kind of blue light here, that's okay. Then you have these psychedelic uh, multicolored lights going on and off. And I suppose the guy thinks it's cool. It is cool, but as I was saying, until I was rudely interrupted. Watch this, look at this. Put this on, right? Watch, watch. Watch. Watch this. You put the tap on, this is what happens. It goes all the way out. <laughs> Terrible, look at it. It's all wet on the floor. So it's been, it looks cool, but it's you know, badly designed. I mean, this is quite cool. This thing here hanging, this mirror. That's quite cool. And this is cool as well, but it's badly designed. When you switch it fully on, it goes right over. That's not good. Yeah. And the, when you put the, the shower on, the shower tap, it gets either too cold or too hot. It's really difficult trying to get it to the middle. So that's another problem we had with this place. This looks cool, this looks nice. I like this bit. I don't like that bit up there. Yeah, some bits are quite cool, they're quite nice. Anyway, I'm fed up of moving, always moving. I t this morning I had to, well, a few minutes ago I had to empty out the fridge, clean up all the surfaces, throw everything away. It's really tiring. I don't want to move again. I've just done some shopping and I'm walking back to the um, back to the the Airbnb <sighs> because I've done this so many times. I, I I actually was walking back to the house and I'm looking at the house now and. Um, I realise that I can't walk back to the house and I'm saying to myself, nope, and I have to just turn back and uh, go back to the BNB. Yeah, so this is what I was doing. I was walking towards the house and I could see my house from far away. And I know, I just wanted to kind of have a look at it for the last time. You know, I just said to, my, said to myself, no, no, let me just turn around and go away. Just say bye-bye. And just go back to the Airbnb. But it's because I was so used to making that journey, going to the local Tesco. And then what do you do? You go back home, don't you? And so, you know, muscle memory or whatever. You know, my body was just taking itself back home. And then I just realized, oh. <clears throat> you know, it's a habit that I've been doing for oh, 30 years. So it kind of caught me out. Okay. I've cleared everything out of the, the house that we're staying in. And uh, wow. If I did this every day, I'd melt, I'd melt most of my lard off. All of my fat would just melt. Uh, so in a way it's quite good. But I get loads of acid though. So I have to take my Lozic, my stomach acid tablets earlier. Or better still, don't eat before I do any exercise. Anyway. Now I'm going to pick the um, the 
I'm going to pick the car up. We had a few problems with, first of all, the last day a cleaner was supposed to come and clean the house. And then they said, oh, sorry, we can't make it until tomorrow, 11 o'clock. My wife was saying, no, tomorrow at nine o'clock, we have to give the, uh, the house back. So she canceled it and we ended up cleaning the house ourselves. Then the council was supposed to come as well. And they said, oh, we'll come tomorrow. Um, before 11 o'clock we waited until 11 and no one came so eventually we had to get we had to pay for a, a rubbish a clearance or removal uh, van which is quite expensive to take away everything from the, the front garden and so you know in this period um, we found the cleaners and the, the removal you know people to remove the rubbish all to be really unreliable but we actually yeah we got it all done of course we had to because the people that you know buy the house they want to see it clean without rubbish without old doors and whatever in front of the house oh, what a morning what a morning these keys are the spare keys my wife gave me the spare keys and the battery is gone. I tried to open the the car. Actually, the boot opened, so I crawled through and tried to put this to put the ignition on. As soon as I put it in, it just came out again. So I tried that a few times, and it rejected the key. Uh, the The boot opens and closes, but the main car, you know, the doors and the ignition don't respond so I assume maybe it only takes a little bit of energy of battery to to open the uh, the back and you know more you need more of a charge or energy to open up the doors and the other electrical you know ignition and everything else so I have to go back now and try and find the other key the problem is the man with the van has arrived because he said he's going to arrive at 11 o'clock so I have to help him as well and as you can see I'm sweating because of this bloody thing so I'm going to have to help him put everything in the van which is not a problem I suppose because I took everything out putting it, putting it in the van is, is a doddle, it's easy but uh, hopefully my wife hasn't put anything inside the, anything inside the, sorry, the key, the spare key inside one of those boxes. Otherwise I'm fucked. Okay, I have this key, the old key. Hopefully it's going to work now. Let's see. Okay, let's see if this works. Open says me. Let's see. Okay, let's try now. Uh, both keys don't work, so we're going to we're going to have to um, wait. Call the AA. Automobile Association and see if they can come and fix the car. So my wife forgot the lights on all night. That's why the battery went. Now I'm getting help from the from the van driver who's taking the rest of our stuff away. Finally got it to charge and that should be okay. Okay, soon we're going to arrive at the house. Uh, Next turn in is Linden Avenue, so this is the last time we'll say goodbye to Linden Avenue. We're not going to come here anymore. So let's have a look. Let's go to the wait here. You're all safe, we'll stay up, man. You're all safe, we'll be here. No, we can't. We can't live here anymore. We don't live here anymore, so we're not allowed to. Stay at the house. 
Okay, let's go slowly. There's a house. Bye bye, house. I love you. Bye bye, house. Mm. That's it. I love you. Bye. Bye, house. Okay, we're stuck in traffic. Stuck in traffic for the last 20 minutes. And I'm worried about switching my, the engine off because there's no battery. Should have charged by now. Um, but there's nothing, it's not moving for, as I said, about 20 minutes and two fire brigade uh, trucks, fire, you know, fire engines. Um, they they passed us on the inside lane on the uh, how do you say the the hard shoulder. So there might have been some kind of truck, maybe crashed or a spillage of, of some kind, either oil, petrol, or chemical or something. There's no police though. I haven't seen the police or ambulance. So I don't know. It hasn't moved in 20 or maybe even 30 minutes. We're stuck here. And I've got my, I've got the engine on. So I think at some point I'm gonna to have to switch the engine off. Otherwise I'll run out of fuel if we're here for hours. I only have 125 miles to an empty tank. About quarter of a, less than a quarter of a tank. So I don't know what to do. I don't know, it just hasn't moved. So, I don't know, what should I do? I think I'm going to switch the engine off. If I can't switch it back on again, then we're in big trouble. Because there's loads of cars here on the motorway and loads of traffic. If this car doesn't respond, then I'm going to be in trouble. What do I do? 